It's Tuesday, and it's dreary and overcast. Dejected workers file into the bowels of the machine we now know as the Etch-A-Sketch. They clock in for another week-long shift in the overly complex and borderline demoniacal machinations of this gadget, loved and revered by children worldwide. Little do they know what goes on in the dark, oily underbelly of this harmless-looking toy. Little do they know of the great Herculean efforts and sweat and blood shed here every day just to keep the two knobs at each of the lower corners turning for eons and then some years after that it was widely accepted that there was some sort of light-hearted fairy magic at work making the lines appear on the etch-a-sketch magic screen whenever you turn the knobs in various directions one knob for vertical up and down and the other knob for horizontal left and right but extensive research in the field of light-hearted fairy magic showed that such things had no concern with etch-a-sketches, mostly being preoccupied with children's teeth left under pillows, and that there was probably something purely mechanical and scientific going on here, and people began to look into it a little deeper and thinking maybe it's somehow drawing on the screen or... I don't know, something to do with the name, etching somehow. But as the human mind tends to do, it relaxed back and slouched down into the comfort of not doing things a lot of the time. Thankfully, some people with discerning and uh, productive minds made use of a few of their brain cells and looked deeper into this matter and figured out that there was some sort of aluminum powder contained within the screen that was coating the, the front part of the inside of the glass, and a breakthrough was made, whereupon people realized that there was some sort of metal nozzle in there, or kind of an, an edge, a, 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 a pointed scraper in there, scraping away at the aluminum powder, and and, and the whole world was taken aback, knocked back on its heels, the wind knocked out of its lungs. It wasn't drawing at all, it was scraping stuff away from the screen, and when everyone realized this, ugh, it was headlining in every major paper. <laughs> by this, by this actually I mean that I realized this personally way later than I think everyone else did, and I, it really surprised me. I couldn't figure out how etch sketches worked for way too long and I couldn't really I was like thinking about it wrong and I thought it I thought they were drawing I thought look I thought the little poker I thought the little line that was being drawn as I moved the knobs around I thought it was like a magnet point and it was making little, I knew there were metal sh shavings in there right I thought that was like somehow sucking the shavings up to the screen and sticking them there with a magnet I didn't realize it was the other way around that the gray part of the screen was the sh metal shavings in there and that the little as i move this around it was scraping them away and then the lines you see was just that's just you looking down into that's just you seeing the back of the etch -a sketch right and then when you shake it up when you turn it over shake it up that's just what is that aluminum shavings getting stuck back up to the glass with like Static electricity or something? How does that work? How do the metal shavings get stuck back up to the screen? Just sheer willpower. I don't know. It's pretty cool. I was, I'm saying, I was shaken when I found out what happens when you shake it and when you scrape it. I, I mean, it is etching, kind of, more or less. It is. And sketching. <sighs> It took me way too long to figure out what was going on here. I never really thought about it. I was just, I was having fun doing it. I was. <laughs> okay. But when you finish these, of course, you gotta, you gotta shake it loose to get, get it ready for next time. What it, this, just like a whiteboard or something, this, it's, it's made for imp impermanence. 
you can draw a million things on one Etch-a-Sketch. I guess until maybe it like etches all the way through the glass. Do you think that would happen eventually? Okay. Goodbye, everybody.